Welcome to the video, ladies and gentlemen. And today we're going to have a little guide for you guys on how the Steam Workshop works for DayZ and joining particular servers you want to play on and the mods they need. I hope this helps a lot of you, as I know there's some confusion on how it works and how to join servers. Enjoy! Oh my god, what gun has he got? Get the Sega. Oh my god. So the first thing you're going to need to do is find out which mods the particular server you want to play on needs and download them through the Daisy Steam Workshop. Today, as an example, we're going to use the Septic Falcon modded community server. All details are in our Discord in the community server channel. If you do struggle to find the modded server information, check the pin icon at the top of the channel. As well as the mods we use on the server, we also have a link to Steam, where we have compiled all the mods and you can download the server mod pack. Or download them individually, which I did for some reason. Once you've located the mods on the server, whichever way you choose to do so, you then click on the plus sign next to the mod or install all for the mod pack and they will download in Steam with the DayZ Workshop icon. Once you've done all that, you can either right-click DayZ and launch the DayZ Launcher, or launch DayZ straight off and then select Launch DayZ Launcher from there. And as you can see, the launcher has recognized the mods we downloaded from the DayZ Workshop earlier. Then we go to the Mods tab in the DayZ Launcher, load all the mods we downloaded for that particular server. Of course, you may have more mods if you play on more than one modded server. The mods we need though, we're going to load in all together and then save a preset as SF Mod. So we know that's for the Septic Falcon modded server. And then we click Play on the launcher. And then all we need to do is launch DayZ and check that the mods actually work, which they do. Straight off the bat, we can check if the status indicators are working, which they are. If they're full, they show as green, very similar to DayZ Mod. And we can also check if we have unlimited stamina. I had to drop a few things, but yes, we had unlimited stamina. The Weapon Redux or Redo mod by Not a Banana we're using should have pretty much all the weapons that we're missing from DayZ. Nearly double or tripling the weapon count currently in DayZ. Of course, they are official weapons, some of these, but not quite implemented and not finished with new animations. So they're very much work in progress, but Not a Banana and the guys, of course, have got them working for us. And they're on our server, so you can get loads of weapons on the go, even weapons we've never tried before. And it didn't take me long to find a blaze, a longhorn, and of course kill somebody with a Sega. There's also some Septic Falcon merch, top secret loot, to find on the server, but I'll leave that for you guys to find and keep a hold of. And that is all for this video, it was just a quick one to help you guys out with the workshop and playing on a modded server. Jump on our modded server and give it a try yourselves, and let me know if you find that Septic Falcon merch. I'll see you peeps next time.